Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the recently released Deepin Linux version 15.5. It uh, was just released yesterday. Deepin Linux has become a uh, very popular Linux distro in the last few years. Uh, currently ranks number 12 on DistroWatch's page hit rankings list. Uh, I've never personally used Deepin. Deepin is a Debian based Linux distribution. Uh, based out of China, country of origin is China. It uses its own unique desktop environment called the Deepin desktop environment which I believe is a GNOME fork. Uh, so this will be a first for me both for the distro, Deepin distro and for the Deepin desktop environment. I'm actually really looking forward to this one. So I'm going to go to the Deepin webpage here at deepin.org and the first thing I noticed is I can't read anything on this web page. It is in Chinese. Uh, if I go to the menu over here, we do have some language selection options here. We choose English. All right, and it's advertising the latest Deepin 15.5 desktop download. So I, I'm going to go ahead and grab the ISO, and I'll be right back. I'm going to briefly uh, touch on the release notes here on the Deepin.org website. Uh, before I go through the install. Uh, again, I'm not that familiar with it and you guys are probably interested in some of the high points from the release notes. Looks like Deepin 15.5 has added uh, high DPI, fingerprint scanning, and flat pack support. So, big items there, especially the high DPI. Uh, good stuff there. It looks like they've migrated Deepin Crosswalk, I'm not sure what that is, to a new web application framework. Pre-installed Deepin Clone and Deepin Recovery. I'm assuming that's some kind of backup software. I'll check it out when I actually get the the uh, distro loaded in VirtualBox. Uh, newly added touchpad gestures, some Wi-Fi hotspot sharing. Uh, that's the main stuff. That's the big ticket items for Deepin 15.5. Let me go ahead and run through the install. Okay, guys. I downloaded the ISO and I'm installing this inside VirtualBox. All right, we have come to language selection here. Uh, it's pretty neat that the mouse actually works here, so this is not strictly uh, text-based. So I'm going to click Next here. Insufficient disk space. It needs more than 16 gigabytes of disk space to install Deepin for better performance. 20 gigs and more is recommended. So when I created this virtual machine, I only gave it 15 gigs. Deepin is saying it needs a minimum of 16 20 gigs would be better. That is a lot of space for a Linux install, but I'm going to go ahead and do what it asks. I'm going to create a 20 gig uh, hard drive on this virtual machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so I created a 20 gig hard drive on the virtual machine, and now instead of giving me a warning about hard drive space, now it gives me this friendly reminder that my system is uh, that the system has detected I'm using a virtual machine which will affect the system performance and operation experience. For a smooth experience it is recommended to install Deepin in a real machine environment. Well, of course. I mean, yeah, duh. I mean, people don't run operating systems in a virtual machine usually to get the best performance out of it. It's usually to test things out for, for the most part. Uh, so that is a pointless warning there. Alright, so we need to create a user account. I'm going to call myself Deepin. I'm going to give the Deepin user a password. It has correctly chosen the central time zone in the US for me. Free space, 20 gig hard drive here. Yeah, I'm just going to give it uh, the whole 20 gigs here. The following operations will be executed. Please confirm. Format slash dev slash SDA and create a MS-DOS new partition table. Create new partition slash dev slash SDA1 as mount point file system that's going to be an extended for file system. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right. Now it looks like it's going to run through the install process. I'm going to pause the video. This will probably take five, ten minutes. I will uh, mention briefly the... Uh, Installer is one of the best looking installers I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know as far as function, but it is a very attractive slideshow that is going on while the system installs. Uh, really, really professional looking product. I, I'm, I'm blown away really by this installer. 
Okay guys, the installer is finished. Uh, it says successfully installed reboot to enjoy your new experience with Deepin. Hope you like it. So let me reboot the system and launch our freshly installed Deepin 15.5. All right, so I've rebooted the machine. And let's see how long Deepin 15.5 takes to boot up. Typical boot up time on most Linux distros these days is about 10 seconds to get to a login manager. That was actually really fast to get to the login manager here in Deepin. All right. Oh, friendly reminder: we're using a virtual machine again, guys. Uh, it, Deepin. I, I know a, a lot of the developers are Chinese, but if you know English, listen to me. Get rid of the friendly reminder about uh, virtual machines. It serves no purpose. Anybody that's got enough sense to install something in a virtual machine knows what a virtual machine is. So they knows what its limitations are. So, anyway. All right, it's got two different modes here to choose from. Effect mode, which I guess, you know, gets you more of the graphical goodness. And the common mode, which is for a more, uh, a, a faster desktop experience. You know, some of the uh, graphical goodies are not ticked on by default. I'm going to choose the effect mode just to test performance out. Nice little boot up sound. All right, I'm going to pause the video for a minute or two to see if I can get the VirtualBox Guest Editions installed and see if I can get a full screen resolution here for purposes of this review. Okay guys, I'm back. I took a couple of minutes to get the VirtualBox Guest Editions installed and get this full screen resolution here on uh, my 1920 by uh, 1080 uh, monitor here that I'm recording the video on. Uh, initial impression of the desktop. Beautiful desktop, very clean, very simple, beautiful wallpaper and a nice, you know, modern looking dock at the bottom. With, you know, a transparent, glassy kind of dock with a, a really nice icon set by default. Again, I don't know anything about the Deepin distro or the Deepin desktop environment. So forgive me if I stumble around a bit during this review, but again, it's going to be a first impression install and review. So what are my first impressions of the Deepin desktop environment? Well, I'm going to open this, uh, this launcher here. And it's very reminiscent of, you know, the uh, Unity launcher or the GNOME shell launcher. You know, you get this full screen, and basically it just has these big icons of everything that is installed on the system. Uh, it looks like we have a menu here on this side. Ah, it, it can break them down by category. That's pretty cool. Let me tick that back off and get them all jumbled up again. And here, I'm assuming this makes this not full screen. Oh, it, it makes it more like a uh, traditional menu here in the dock. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So if I close that, if I open it again, will it be full screen? No, it remembers that it, I, I wanted it not full screen. That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to go through everything in this menu uh, not full screen. I think this will be easier for the video without my head in the way. So uh, let me see if I can categorize them again. Yeah, we can still get the categories. All right, under Internet, Google Chrome is our default browser. They also have installed Skype by, by default. A lot of distros will not install something like Skype by default. A lot of Linux distros only uh, install free software by default. Free and open source software. Skype is not free and open source software. Thunderbird Mail is our email client. Under Music we have Spotify. We have Deepin Music. So I don't know much about the Deepin app so I'm going to launch Deepin Music here. It was like a pretty cool music player. Let's see. I go to the about here. Deepin Music Player is a local music player with a beautiful design and simple functions. It supports viewing lyrics when playing, playing lossless music, and customized playlists. Uh, I actually wish I had some uh, music installed to see uh, to play around with the interface. I'm always interested in music players, but maybe something I revisit in a, in a future video. Also under music we have Deepin Movies. Uh, any video player in Linux you can usually also play music in too. That's why they included it in the music section. But it looks like your standard video player. Alright, under video 
we have our deepened screen recorder you know to record your desktop similar to how I'm recording my desktop right now making this video and the deepened voice recorder you know to record uh, your voice through a microphone under graphics we have our screenshot utility called deepened screenshot deepened deepen image viewer and deepen picker which I'm assuming is a color picking utility hmm. well I tried to launch it but it didn't launch oh well, I see what it did there when I clicked the uh, the mouse on the keyboard I got a little pop-up telling me what the color was of what I picked on the desktop that's actually a pretty neat little utility alright under games we have steam installed by default a lot of distros don't install Steam by default on their systems, but if you plan on doing any kind of gaming on Linux at all, you need Steam installed. Under Office, we have the uh, looks like the WPS Office Suite. We have their Writer, Presentation, and Spreadsheets. We have our Text Editor. I'm not sure what Text Editor they're using. It may be uh, their own custom built Text Editor. Now they're using the GEdit you know the standard text editor in the GNOME desktop environment alright we have deepen cloud print deepen cloud scan so some printing and scanning utilities and then CHMC I'm not sure what that is let's check it out And clicking the about button doesn't tell me anything about what this program is so let me just close that uh, reading we have our Foxit reader under system we have the deepen file manager so they're using their own custom built file manager let's see deepen file manager uh, you know just your standard file manager it uh, looks pretty sharp actually everything about deepen uh, as far as graphics wise uh, it is a very very attractive desktop I must say I'm going to open up a system monitor here in a second and see uh, how it's doing on CPU and memory usage we have uh, under others we have deepen user feedback and crossover crossover uh, I believe installs like Windows programs inside Wine so that's interesting they included that at the bottom of this menu we have little tabs here computer documents videos music pictures downloads uh, those are folders in your home directory at least on most Linux systems so I'm assuming if I click that it's gonna open up yeah the computers uh, directory in the deepen file manager documents videos here's videos the videos directory of course is empty uh, moving through the little dock at the bottom uh, show desktop I don't need to do that uh, there's nothing currently on the desktop multitasking view what is multitasking view uh, well that's pretty neat it's a uh, you know your virtual desktops here so it looks like we have four of them by default with four different wallpapers makes it easy to remember what desktop you're on so there's desktop 2, desktop 3, desktop 4. If I click on desktop 4, here I am on desktop 4. That's pretty cool. You can open the deepen file manager here. And go back to the multitasking view. You know, move back to desktop 3. Hmm. Pretty cool stuff there. All right, moving along on the dock, the deepen store. I'm assuming this is their software center. Still waiting for it to load. All right. Well, visually, it is a very attractive uh, software center. Wow. We got all these buttons on the side here for rankings and categories: internet, chat, music, video, uh, and of course we have a search bar at the top. Really sharp looking software center. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not even close to being done with my review here but Deepin is really impressing me I mean for a custom built desktop environment you know there's a million desktop environments out there in Linux these days the Deepin desktop environment is uh, just stunning alright we have our Deepin music Deepin video which we have already looked at Google Chrome is our browser everybody knows what Google Chrome looks like here is the Deepin control center and you will see let me move myself out of the way here we have our little control center here that opens up on the right side of the screen that we can scroll down it's basically all your system settings you know in a lot of Linux distros you have a little system settings uh, 
app that you launch that has all your configurations, you know, categorized by icons. They just do it a, a different way here, but that's pretty cool. You know, we have personalization, display, network, sound, time and date, power management, mouse, keyboard, and updates. I could check for updates here too. Mm, I'm not going to check for updates on the video. Shouldn't be too much since it was just released. And just a side note there, I didn't get it on camera, but right when I paused the video just a second ago, the uh, my uh, Deepin 15.5 actually crashed on me. It was a hard crash to had to restart the virtual machine. But again, I'm reviewing this in, inside VirtualBox, so, you know, it is what it is. You know, virtual machines are buggy. All right, uh, moving through the dock here, we have our Deepin terminal. Let me see the about page. Deepin Terminals, advanced terminal emulator with workspace, multiple windows, remote management, quake mode, and other features. Uh, your standard terminal emulator. We have our shutdown button. We have uh, network stuff. We have volume control. We have time and date, and we have our trash can. I wonder how customizable this dock is. If I right click on it, mode. We have a mode fashion mode, which is ticked on. If I go to efficient mode, uh, it makes it more like a full screen panel. I actually like that. I'm used to, you know, using full screen panels on most of my systems, you know. So I would probably stick with that if I if I was using this. Let me see what kind of wallpapers are uh, installed by default on Deepin. We actually have this really nice uh, wallpaper selection here at the bottom of the screen. It's a pretty cool app, actually. And uh, some really nice photos for wallpapers. Really nice stuff. I, I'm just super impressed with everything I've seen from Deepin today. I mean, this is this is really cool stuff. Hmm, pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, so my overall first impression and verdict on Deepin, I am blown away by Deepin. I can't believe that I have not reviewed this distro before uh, not just on this channel but you know just checked it out you know just in my own Linux experience I mean I've heard a lot about it but you know graphically intense you know really uh, attractive desktops like the GNOME 3 desktop Unity KDE you know they pale in comparison to the Deepin desktop environment. This is the most attractive desktop environment I've seen in Linux to date. The one downside for having such a beautiful desktop environment will be CPU and memory usage. Let me see if I can find a uh, system monitor here. Uh, under the uh, power settings I believe is where the system monitor is yeah when you hit the power session settings you get shut down reboot and all that but at the bottom here you have start system monitor and I gave this machine two cores of my six core CPU and with those two cores it is using 60 percent of it that's not good that's pretty high CPU usage I gave this virtual machine six gigs of memory uh, and it is using 13.4% of that 6 gigs of memory. That is about normal for like KDE and Unity and Cinnamon. Uh, actually, the GNOME 3 desktop environment sometimes uses a bit more than that. It, it's always the worst one on memory for some reason on, on these virtual machines, the GNOME 3 desktop. But the CPU usage is a little high. So, I mean, Deepin. I give it a, a A plus for the install and for the desktop environment. I give it an A plus, but you're probably going to need to run it on modern hardware. You're not going to take you know a six year old or eight year old computer probably and get deep and running and, and working the way you want it to. Anyway, give Deepin 15.5 a try, guys. Peace.